So. Joining us now with his take on Joe Biden and much more, ESPN host Stephen A. Smith. Uh, I read somewhere that your ratings. What's up, man? Uh, uh, what's up, man? Uh, my, my, my old friend. I read somewhere that your show is just crushing your competitor's show, who you used to be friends with and partners with. Is there any truth to that, or is that a lie? Is that the media mob lying? Well, I, well, the media mob is not lying. I'm not going to classify it as that. I respect <laughs> my, my former colleagues, Kid Bayless, and all my I boys know. that are there with my like brothers. Well, to you me, said you hope you continue to pummel the him. They, you said they, you well. They're on the other side. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Yes. I mean, sir. the bottom line is I'm competing. I'm competing. Okay. I like that. And the fact is, if you go against, if you go against <laughs> me, I'm trying to win all the time. You know this about me, that. Sean Hannity. You've known me for years. Okay. Good luck with that. And by the way, all you're right. looking good. The haircut. You got a nice haircut for a change. Congratulations. Well, let's go. It's the same haircut I've had for 27, going on 28 years. Not, Thanks a lot. All right. Let me let me go okay. to this issue. All right, so you're not a yeah. Trump guy, you're not a Biden guy, and you're a no. Gavin Newsom guy. No. Okay, tr well, mm. that's true. Well, listen, here's the truth. Here's the truth, okay? When I talked about Biden, what I said was, in the class, and to in in clarify my statement, because I saw how you led with it or whatever, I'm no fan of Trump in the, because of how he conducts himself. I've told you that. I don't even get into policies, how he conducts himself. He's like a petulant child. I can't stand it, okay? You need statesmanship in that position. But in the case of Biden, clearly he doesn't seem to be as cogent and as lucid as we would like him to be. My bigger point was this. It is a disgrace for the Democratic Party to call themselves progressives when they're virtually begging an 82-year-old man at election time to run for re-election. That is the point that I was making. You're supposed to be progressive, right? You're supposed to be moving forward. You're supposed to be thinking forward. You're supposed to be being innovative and younger and all of this other stuff. And you're leaning on the hopes and the prayers of an 82-year-old who would be Joe Biden. He's 80 right now. He'd be going 81. He'll be 82 at the time of re-election if that were to happen. To depend on him is an indictment against the Democratic Party. And the reason I brought up Gavin Newsom is because, listen, I am absolutely positively allergic to the high taxes in California. I can't stand them. To me, the state invents ways to take your money. It's just unbelievable to me. But to watch him sit directly face to face with you, Sean Hannity, and oh, go toe to toe the way that y'all did. It was I'm, I'm going to give you credit where credit is due because it's rare that you deserve it. You know, I love you. It's rare that you deserve credit for what I'm about to say. To oh, sit boy. up there and to have you do an interview sitting directly across from somebody that is opposite of you in terms of ideology. You actually gave him opportunities to speak and to explain himself. I thought that he was as articulate and as forceful and as powerful as any Democrat out there. And even you admitted that as you sat across from him. I couldn't That's get where him. No, I the came problem up with is Newsom. I couldn't get him to admit what is obvious, and that is every day his phone is pinging day and night, morning, noon, and night. They want oh, him to get I remember that. The, listen, wait, wait, um, respectfully, personally, respectfully, respectfully, I thought that was a silly question on your part. What's he supposed to do, Sean? He told you he was, he's in he's in, he's in the in the motorcade with with President Trump. He told President Biden. He told you he's been at the White House. He told you he okay. communicates with him constantly. Then but he's the supposed to go on Sean Hannity's show and say, you know what? People are calling me all the time to replace that's him. The truth. Stop that! You know better because, than that. Because you and you know, I both know. But, you and I both. Oh, wait a minute. You and I both know that is absolutely okay. a thousand percent true. Now, the problem. Yes. Uh, look. Hold Gavin, on. Hold on. No. 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 Hold on, oh, Sean. No, you it's know true. It's true. It's true. But you. But you, and it's you. absolutely true. But you. I know this from Sean Hannity. Every truth ain't made to be told. Now you don't have to lie, but you ain't telling every truth. Why would he admit that on national television? Sitting across well, from Sean Hannity. That I've said Come that's on, man. Not true. You can't on, expect man. him to do that. You sound like Biden. Now. No. Come on, man. You know, no, no, I know I don't. You know better than that. I would not do that. And I sound a lot better oh, than Biden. Boy, you're I, running I, as far away from him as you I can get. <laughs> all right. No, I'm not. You talk well, about ahead. taxes. Well, all right. And, and, I, and I like Gavin. And he's going to debate Ron DeSantis on this show, which I'm looking forward to. That's right. The, the question yeah. is, you know, when you look at the taxes, the highest in the country, when you look at, for the first time, he's the only governor that had a... a a net loss of population. People are flocking mm -hmm. out of that state because of unburdensome right. regulation right. and taxation. You know, you pay a dollar more than the national average I for gasoline. This. 
I want to answer okay. this. Okay, I'll, I'll, here's, I'll, here's run, I'll put them up on all, the screen true. and so my audience all, can see. All, all true. true. Thank you. All, all but, true. What I'm saying to you, however, is this. Somebody named Sean Hannity, my buddy, for nearly two decades now, who I know very well, said to me, you can't judge somebody in the immediacy of the moment. The prism of history has to do it. You've said that to me many times. I regurgitated that comment from you many, many times. We know about COVID. We know about the trillions of dollars that have been spent from the previous administration as, as well as this one. They're all guilty of it. The great one himself, Mark Levin, has acknowledged that nobody's, nobody's absolved from being from the spending that has taken place over the last several right. decades. I have an exit question now. then. We Can you, that. It, you can't just I'm judge Biden up all that. that. I'm putting up all the statistics, Florida versus, you know, California. That's uh, why I think this debate is interesting. You didn't do that with Gavin Ga Newsom. I did so. I handed him every single one of these charts that I'm putting up right now. I did right in front of him. For me to see. I didn't, you got to watch I watched the, that well, interview five times. You can watch it later. Okay. Okay. Exit question. Name me one policy that he's implemented that you say, wow, that was a great policy and that's helped the state of California. I'm not qualified to make that statement because the reality of the situation is when I look at Biden, I've got a lot of question marks about him. I'm not going to shy away from that. I'm big on immigration. I'm big on national security. I'm big on the economy. And there are question marks with him ad nauseum. There's no doubt about that. But if you are a staunch if you can't, liberal, if you, can't name you would a find single, yourself very pleased with Biden. You would support you would find him yourself very and you pleased would support Biden. You can't cite a single thing that you would point to and say, wow, we need to duplicate listen, that nationally. Listen, I didn't. Sanctuary. I, I didn't, uh, you want the United Sanctuary States no of America? San like no California? sanctuary cities. No, I'm not down for that. I'm you not want, down for the want, sanctuary cities. Do you I'm want not to down give for up energy borders. production? I, no. Well, it depends. I mean, it's, it's more complicated than that. I wouldn't say no definitively. It depends on how safe it is for the American people. As of we gotta today. Take that as, well. as of today, I don't know the answer All to right, that. I I'm run. literally telling you what you want me to do. All right. For you, uh, a troublemaker. You, you, uh, you, man. You, you I really love my buddy me. Stephen A. <laughs> All right, coming up. All right, good to see you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.